Hey guys, it's Akini here. Welcome back. Work condition. Straight into our get to work place. Original house. The family. We kind of introduced ourselves to our new character. Visit to the medical Skylar, who is going. Uh, so in this episode, we're hoping that we can go to um, Eloise or Jasmine's jobs. Oh, I think that's the names: Jasmine and Eloise. Okay. Um, so they both go to work tomorrow, one in 15 hours and one in 13 hours. We're go I think we're going to go to the cadet one because she needs to be actively, have us participating in the work. Whereas Jasmine just needs to have breakthroughs, which she can just do at home. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to go to at least... Okay playthrough I am not going to force them to do interactions with each other change at some point but I kind of like that idea having said that they're just sitting there playing games and not talking oh well alrighty and how you go hmm you're pretty good. You're not hungry. You need a little bit of social. Um, how do I move? Oh my goodness. Um, you're pretty good. Where is the kitchen? Direction that I usually the game. Yard. Do you want to? Um. No. Let's do veg. You can be an amateur garden because I do eventually want. Are they call a good gardener for that. What is Your energy just went down really quickly, and she's asleep. Okay, you can do that later. What are you doing? You're sleeping, but you're. You're going to doesn't make any sense. Okie dokie. So everyone is asleep in their little bed. Work tomorrow. Somebody needs to wake up early so that they can make breakfast. And it's going to have to be you waking up soon because... Oh, awesome. Before you pee your pants. That could be very bad. Right now, and it makes very ominous noises. Let's have you make bre serve breakfast, and that will be a fruit salad. Delicious thing to have for breakfast. And then, uh, oh, who's my cadet? Eloise, you need to be waking up fairly soon, but you're about to wake. And you've got a little while until you have to do anything, which is good. Alright, come on. Oh, don't cut off your hands, you'll be fine. It's, it shouldn't be that high. I say green stuff in the fruit salad. That looks suspiciously like le less lettuce leaves. What a mix of fruit purees, I guess. Oh, kind of. Salad texture, it's like flat and circular. I guess similar to most of the other food textures that there are in this game. Uh, Eloise is awake. She needs to come down here and eat. Because she's got work in an hour. I probably should have woken her up myself, but that is fine. And she's feeling very confident from being self-assured. That's good. Um, Jasmine is also awake and eating breakfast. Everyone seems to be pretty happy, which is slightly strange. 
they're all a bit uh, hungry though. Are you eating? Yes. How are you guys' relationships going with each other? You are acquaintances. Oh, yay. Uh, we're going with Eloise, right? Yeah. Join. Let us go to work as a detective. Actually, no, as a cadet, because we're not a detective yet. We've got a little while to go before we become a detective. Ooh, this is exciting. I really like the load screen Sims music, which is a little bit weird, right? Like, most people probably don't really enjoy the load screen Sims music or don't think about it much. It just exists there, but I like it. So, yay. Um, can we hurry up and load, please? That would be good. Welcome to the force. It's time to start fighting crime. First things first. Use a computer to get a case assignment. Alright, I can do that. Who's this? Problem being there's like no computers hanging out that I can use. There's there's no computers anywhere. Can I kick somebody off of a computer? Um what do I need to do? Get case assignment. Hopefully this will work, otherwise this could turn out badly. <clears throat> what is he what are they even doing? That guy looks like he's on an instant messaging service. Uh, this girl looks like she's actually Google searching something. And by the look of it it is like real estate or a selling site or something. And what are we doing? <clears throat> Maybe checking our emails. And somehow they're writing themselves out by themselves. Weird. Alright, you need to learn the ropes before you can handle running your own case. You'll be starting by assisting a veteran detective with a crime scene investigation. Use the crime map to travel to the crime scene. Alright, I'm guessing that's this. Yep, perfect. Travel to crime scene. What? What are you even having? Okay, that did not... That gave us a negative conversation. That's not good. All right, crime scene. At a crime scene, you can find clues that will help you track down a suspect. Investigate damaged or stolen objects and search for clues on the ground nearby to uncover more evidence. Also, talk to witnesses to get a report about what happened. By the look of it, somebody died. All right, so we can take an evidence picture and collect evidence samples of the graffiti. And I have to pay my bills. I can do that later. Somebody is crying. Who is crying? And why are there police officers on their computers? That's weird, right? Alright, what happened exactly? I have no idea. Okay, can I go, he go here and search for clues? <coughs> we'll just go through the different rooms and search for clues, see what we can find. We got anything? No. Let's go to the kitchen and search for clues. Why? No. Oh, I think I clicked that. Why is that doing weird things? I don't know. And we'll search for clues in the entire area. We should probably also take a crime scene picture, but not of that because we've already got one of those. There's a lot of them hanging out though. No clues found? Alright. Let's take evidence picture of that. Collect an evidence sample. And search for clues. Those are pretty nice shelves. I like them. Alright. We found anything? It uh, doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's have a witness report discussion. We just need one. Hopefully she's the appropriate person to get a witness report from. Is this in my building? Hmm. Maybe. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Hang on. No, I don't think so. She provided me an account with what she saw. Okay. Um, so what do we need now? We need one more crime scene picture. And we need two more crime scene clues so we're going to go around and see if we can find some more clues in various areas i have no idea what happened which is probably not good probably really nothing happened 
given that it's just our first case. Ooh, that's a crime scene. So let's take a photo of that and collect an evidence sample of this. And that will be, I think, everything done. Oh, we need we need another clue after this. So let's search for clues again. See if there's any clues in this area. Um, it does not look like it. Okay, we need one more clue. Um, that one. Collect evidence sample. I think that's what it means by collect clues. All right. Perfect. Okay, we've done everything. What do we do now? Return to the police station. Do I? Yep. You can click on myself to turn me to the police station. And why do you have a fruit salad with you? That. Yes, I do want to leave. We've got all of our clues. We've taken all the pictures we can take. And we're all set. We're going to go home and go back to the station. And we're going to solve this crime like the awesome crime-fighting cadet that we are. Do -do -do. Ooh, the loading screens in this one are annoying because you have to travel places. Which I always avoid traveling so that I don't have to go through the loading screens. But it's fine. Now that you've gathered evidence from a crime team, it's time crime scene. It's time to start tracking down a suspect. Use the chemical analyzer and computer to evaluate the evidence you found at this crime scene. There's a chance you'll discover more information on who committed the crime. All right, let's use this. Analyze evidence. We have five evidence samples. So I'm guessing this is the chemical analyzer. I don't know. What, I can't remember what the other analyzer it said that I should use was, but. It's fine. Um, I'm also pretty low on the social. Bladder's not great. Hunger's not great. We might need to stop for lunch in a bit. But hey, she's chatting with somebody, so that's good. That might increase her social a little bit. All right. Have you analysed something yet? Uh, see, what we need to do is successfully use the analyzer. So if this doesn't work, we've got another four chances before we've lost it. But nope, it worked. Perfect. Nice work. Analyzing evidence from the crime scene allows you to discover clues about the suspect. Once you're running on your own case, you'll have to analyze lots of evidence before you can find the suspect. For now, use the computer to file the crime scene evidence so that the senior detective can take over. All right, um, I'm going to use that same computer and we are going to file the evidence. Perfect. Um, are you going? Why are you not going? Stop chatting. You need to go use the computer. Again, instant messaging. Why are you all on instant messenger instead of working on this very difficult, very important case? Good work. The evidence you found will be helpful to the detective in charge of the case. Once you get your own case, you'll have to follow up on the evidence yourself. Tomorrow, you'll learn about the next steps in the case. For now, take care of some help processing criminals at the processing station, which is over here, I would assume. I'm, I'm too far away. Let me through this weird bar. Okay. Alrighty, let's um, search a suspect. And let's go with Jesse Fernandez. How many how many hours do I have left? About three hours. So I think we can do this. Um, then we will fingerprint Jesse, and then we will take a mugshot of Jesse, and then we can go stop being on that computer, and then we can do somebody else, and that should have it all set. Oh, I think I just deleted one. So let's let's do the search subject again because I think that's the one I deleted. Fingerprint, take mugshot, search suspect. Yep, perfect. Alrighty, so this may take a little bit of time. Alright, so fingerprinting, very easy. Just put your thing on the your hand on that and fingerprint is done. What else have we got? Taking a mugshot apparently takes a very, very long time. Maybe it's like taking the perfect selfie. It's got everything's got to be like absolutely perfect. That person looks evil. Not doing anything. They just look evil. All 
Alrighty, mugshot has been completed. What's next? Search, search, search subject. Um, and then we need to fingerprint. Let's go this dude. Take a mugshot of this dude and search. No, not not Jesse. We've already searched Jesse. Uh, search this dude. All right, so we have one hour left to get as many of these done as we possibly can. Maybe we should extend our work day. I think we can do that. Um, um, stay late. So that gives us another hour, I think. Yes, approximately another hour or two. So that we can finish off these three things. And hopefully get an excellent for the first day of work because that's more important um, so then we need to fingerprint somebody else so this dude talk to the chief chief is that the chief oh, I keep saying chief instead of chief um, so we need to talk to this dude um, that's talking right let's do friendly introduction so we've now completed a good day's work which is good. She's very uncomfortable. She really needs to pee. She really needs to eat. So I think we're just about ready to go. And what's wrong now? Her back is sore from having a long day at work as well. That's fine. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to do today. Her work day ends in a little under an hour, which is exciting. But she's about to go home. She's completed all of her work for today. Which is really exciting. I think we did quite well. So this is the start of the detective job. Now, this is going to get a lot harder. I think like it was saying that when we are doing our own cases, it's going to be a lot harder and you have to do a lot more evidence and a lot more crime scene work. And I think it's going to be one of those things that it gets increasingly hard as you get more promotions. And to get the promotions, you have to do stuff, not just send your sim off to work. So I'm not sure how we're going to go on that, but I want to see if we can go as far as we can possibly go, which is exciting. I'm actually really excited for this um, work pack. I, I want to see like what everyone becomes because that's like one of my favorite things. It's just to see like, <laughs> like um, it's like a window into another person's Korea, did you just pee yourself? Okay, you need to go shower. Alright, take a shower. Because yes, that is very embarrassing. Uh, and then you can eat and do social things. In fact, um, Jasmine can serve dinner for everybody as a grilled cheese. Because grilled cheese is delicious. Mmm, now I'm hungry. I really like grilled cheese. I just really like food in general. Food in general is awesome. But anything with cheese is pretty great. Um, who are you talking to? Are you talking to Jasmine? Mortimer Goff wants to grab dinner at Twin Oracle Point. Do I want to go to dinner with Mortimer Goff? Hmm. Not really. Mortimer Goff is a little bit strange. And Jasmine's burning the... Uh, extinguish yourself. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, she is fine. Whew. I've already killed somebody with fire before. I do not want that to happen again. Okay, now that you've cooked food, why don't you go take a shower? Because uh, you ain't looking too good. Oh, there's one up there. No, just take a shower. She's not a normal shower, like a fake shower. Alright, everyone is a little bit tense. Why don't you go resume the grilled cheese? That's probably going to be okay. Oh goodness, that could have been an absolute disaster. But now there's grilled cheese for everybody, which is... Who are you talking to? Hello, Michael. Let's, uh... Complain? Did I say complain? I don't know. That's a pretty dress. Ooh, you know what? Uh, I need to pay the bills. Oh, it is an expensive house. 
but that's fine. And Jasmine's had another breakthrough, which means that she is now eligible for uh, a promotion, which is exciting. Um, who, who are you and why are you being weird? Alrighty, that's good. Um, what time is it? Everyone's asleep. Why are they calling at 10.45? He would like to come over and hang out. Is that okay? It's 11 o'clock and we're all sleeping. So I'm going to say no to that. Maybe tomorrow. But also possibly not. Um, so I'm going to leave this episode here. We had a day as a cadet. In the next episode, we will be following along with Jasmine as she goes to her job as a... What are you? Medical intern. Nope, that's Skylar. That's not Jasmine. As a lab technician to see what it's like being a scientist in a real lab, which is pretty exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you've got any tips or suggestions or things you'd like to see me do, don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below. And other than that, I hope you have a really lovely day. Keep smiling and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Things will change. It's the way you go. Living life the way you do, it's all you know. It's falling out, it's falling out beneath your feet, it'll just you.